Yep, you saw the title, and so with that, here's a bunch of Windows 11 tips and tricks in under 6 minutes. So with that, let's begin. Number 1. Keyboard Snap Layouts Yeah, we all know that you can drag your mouse up in this corner and hover over the Maximize button to get a bunch of window snapping options, but did you know that you can also press the Windows and the Z key to then allow you to quickly select one of these by pressing some numbers? No? Well, I guess now you know. Number 2. The Windows Logo Now, we all know that right-click has changed a lot in Windows 11 in regards to the context menus, but did you know that you can right-click on the Windows logo to bring up a whole plethora of controls super quickly. Definitely one that's easy to miss, which you can also get to by the way by pressing the Windows and X shortcut. Oh, and talking about right clicking, if you press shift while clicking on any icon in the taskbar, you'll open a new window of that app. Number 3. Emojis Now it's pretty common to use emojis on your phone or other mobile devices when using texting apps in particular, but what about when using your PC? To do this, just press the Windows and the period key, or you can also press the Windows and semicolon key in order to bring it up as well. Well, now you can rage in the online conversations in the proper way. Number 4. Dynamic Lock Now what's even better is maintaining your privacy. I know right, groundbreaking. Well, it turns out that you can enable Dynamic Lock on your PC, which will automatically lock your computer if you leave it and take your phone away with you. Not only this, but when you're back in close proximity, your computer display will wake up again, allowing you to sign in straight away without having to press a single button, especially if you have Windows Hello. Number 5. Clipboard Another handy feature is the Universal Windows Clipboard Manager, which you can get to by pressing the Windows and V key. You can also navigate the pop-up menu via your keyboard with arrow keys. Once the text is selected, press enter and it will be pasted at the position of your cursor, the more you know. Number 6. Organizing documents. What can also be handy for the organizational masters out there is multiple desktops, but actually the fact that in the task view you can right click on a particular desktop and rename it and even change the background of them individually too for some extra organization. Right, so we're halfway into this video, so as a bonus tip, here's 5 of the best apps to really take your Windows 11 experience to the next level. Auto Dark Mode, self-explanatory, based on the name, is an open source application which allows you to automatically switch between light mode and dark mode based on your location, specific times, and can even control it to affect just the Windows UI, your apps only, or both. Battery Percentage, Windows doesn't have a battery percentage for some stupid reason, so this app adds a number in your system tray and can alert you at different percentages to help you stay in that 20 to 80% zone. Null Soft Shell, adds the old context menu items back as they were in Windows 10 when you right click, as well as updating it with some nice icons to match the aesthetic of Windows 11. Oh, and this application is open source by the way. WinRO Tweaker. This app has quite a lot of tweaks and customization you can do, but the only tweak I like to use is the ability to change the starting location of File Explorer to wherever you prefer. Everything Search and Flow Launcher. Everything Search gives you a much better Windows Search alternative, which can be integrated into the open source Flow Launcher application as a plugin to give you a much more modern Windows Search look. But yeah, those are just a snapshot of Windows 11 apps I've covered. Click up here in the cards to see a playlist on a whole load more. Right, I've got a video to finish, so back to the video. Number 7. Personalization tips. For the start menu, be sure to change it based on whether you want more pins or more recommendations. You can also customize the folder icons that appear in the bottom, which is something that many people forget about. Talking of customization, many people don't really customize the quick settings found within the action center as well. Depending on your device, some toggles like mobile hotspot or nightlight might be more important to you, so be sure to customize this as needed and don't just leave it on the default settings. Number 8. Excluded folders. Talking of settings, be sure to go to the excluded folders location to fine tune Windows search so it doesn't just search for some random folder locations that you don't want it to. We've all been there when Windows search is searching duplicates, temporary files or some random system folders that you don't need to see. Number 9. Additional clocks. So if you right click on your date and time then press the adjust date and time settings, settings will open up and if you scroll right to the bottom of this menu you can choose to add additional clocks. Another menu will then pop up allowing you to choose two other cities and then give a name to those clocks as well. After you press apply and hit ok. Whenever you hover over your date and time, the two other clocks will be shown to you, as well as when you open the panel completely, they'll be displayed at the top of the calendar. Super handy for those in the office. Number 10. Power Toys Alright, so I will admit that this one is more of an app, but it's an official one and it's made by Microsoft. But best of all, you don't even need to open the app, just install it and some additional functionality will get added into Windows, such as showing PDF previews, being able to change the size of images super easily, and even being able to pin a window so that it stays in the foreground just to name a few. Though, if you want to learn more about this, then check the cards above for a video giving you a comprehensive guide to the Power Toys application. It's also the first link below the like button. Number 11. Screenshotting. So if you don't use an external screenshot app, then you're likely using the built-in snipping tool in Windows. Well, in previous versions of Windows, you had to press the Windows Shift and then the S keyboard shortcut to activate it, which you can still do, but in Windows 11, this has been reassigned to the print screen button. So no more complex keyboard shortcuts just to take a screenshot. Number 12. Dictation. Now what's even better than screenshotting is 
dictation, which can easily be overlooked on desktop and can really help you out if you're not the fastest at typing or if you just want a transcript to be produced of what you're saying and let's say an in-person meeting. Number 13, viewing properties. Talking of power, if you're a power user, you're likely into your keyboard shortcuts. But did you know that if you right click on an application, go to the properties option and then go to the shortcut tab, you can set a keyboard shortcut to open the application. Well, now your life has changed. Number 14, file explorer. Okay, so now let's quickly dip into the file explorer. If you go to the file explorer settings, you can choose what location file explorer opens at. And if you go to the view tab, you can choose to view files in the compact view, the extensions, as well as hidden items as some of the key settings that you should consider changing. Oh, and as a bonus tip, you can press the control R key in order to refresh the area that you're looking at in the file explorer instead of having to right click and then press refresh. This also works in the browser as well, by the way. Number 15, power settings. And a final tip that I'll leave you with are the power and sleep settings for your device. You can do this from within the window settings. So be sure to adjust your power mode to match your preference, as well as controlling what the lid of your laptop does when plugged in and on battery, the latter of which can be easily missed as it's still in the control panel settings at the time of recording this video. Wow, all right, I didn't think I'd get that lot crammed in here. But yeah, those are just a few tips for Windows. Be sure to check out this video, which goes over some must have Windows apps. Or if you've had enough of Windows, then be sure to check out this playlist for a load of cool sites that you're likely not using. Anyway, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.